everybody uh, we're back again with another unboxing uh, adding to our already growing collection obviously we have two Tritons but we don't have enough room to get them all in the shot now so we're only putting in Mrs. Crawling's Triton the green one um, but what we have today is a truck a JJRC transporter, 1 16th six wheel drive truck. Um, this truck is part of a bigger plan. It's just not a truck to run around for us and to crawl with us. Obviously, there's some things that we need to do with this truck in order to improve its crawling ability, but this is part of a bigger, um, a bigger plan. And the second part of that plan will be releasing tomorrow. So let's just go and unbox this truck right now and take a look at what we got. Uh, well, let's just look at the box. There's the, we got this side here. Oops. Oh yeah, hard work. Getting crazy. And there we go. So we'll unbox this now. Maybe I can stand him back up really quick so he doesn't look like he's unconscious. And in the box we have the remote and we have the truck. Here's the truck. It's a 1 16th scale truck. And here's the remote. And we got an owner's manual with the truck. This is a hobby grade truck, so the parts are replaceable um, and they are upgradable. In the box, we have the LiPo charger, I believe. The battery charger. And a, a wrench. And a second battery. The first battery is in the truck itself already. So it comes with the truck, the two batteries, the wrench and a charging USB cord and we paid about $60 with this truck for with shipping. Um, we like the look of this truck. Um, this truck is going to be more in a um, recovery capacity in the future so we weren't really worried with how it was going to crawl out of the box. Um, we're going to redo the electronics in it, uh, put a different ESC because it doesn't, it does not come with proportional steering, nor does it come with proportional th throttle. So you got two speeds, which is slow and fast and, um, you know, and that's it. And it, we want this thing to be able to go slow for what we're planning on doing with it. So let's move this stuff to the side. Let's just take a look at the truck real quick. Um, the truck has a box in the back, which has nothing in it. Um, the hood is opens up and that is where the battery is put and plugged in. So it's nice to have a little battery storage container and a working hood. Um, the doors work. The doors do open up and there is some detail on the inside. Maybe if you can see in there, there's a steering wheel and gear shifter. Um, the, the nice thing about the rear view mirrors here are they are very flexible. So if this flips over, they're not gonna break. Obviously non-functional, they're just for looks. Um, 
it did it does come with LED headlights and let's go ahead and plug a battery in and just see if we can get the lights to come on for us so we can take a look at them I mean who doesn't look at the like to look at lights right so we're gonna plug the battery in and drop it in the container here somehow some way possibly and the switch is right here so we do have some headlights obviously it's looking for the receiver right now that's why the lights are blinking now the switch is located underneath here along with the steering trim it looks like to adjust the steering trim you can adjust it but it is adjusted down here um, which is really similar to the dune uh, to the power craze soul 2 where the steering trim is adjusted there as well. Um, one of the main reasons I went with this truck as opposed to the WPL um, was one, it's looks. I like the I like the old the old school look of it. Um, it's got a nice metal frame to it. Uh, the frame is metal. Um, it has. Um, Instead of having shocks, it has leaf spring suspension. And um, it was a little bit cheaper, so that's why we went with it. Um, it does look like the tailgate opens too. Maybe. Yep. It's really hard. And it does have a hitch on the back for pulling a trailer. It looks like it has simulated rear tail lights, but obviously they're simulated, they don't work. Um, the tires are spongy, and that's what drew me to this truck as opposed to the WPL. The tires were much more spongy and pliable, and for what we do, we mainly crawl in the dirt and we need tires that are more spongy and pliable as opposed to hard because the harder tires just dig. So um, that's why we went with this truck over the others. And that's it for this unboxing. Look forward to another video coming tomorrow because this is one part of two of a new system we're going to be trying and we hope you all will enjoy our new system. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Thanks for watching.